What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my Let's Play of Silent Hill. Just downloaded the HD collection. And I'm going to start off with Silent Hill 2. Let's go! So it's been years since I've played this game. And this is one of my favorite games from... Uh, new voices or original voices? Does it matter? I have no idea. Let's go with the original voices, because that's what I remember. But anyway, as I was saying, this was one of my favorite games back in the old PS2 days, and I played the shit out of it, and just the whole creepy, atmospheric style of horror survival is pretty awesome. And let's see, what do we got here? It's been so long since I've played this, so... Oh, boy. 3D type, I don't... Subtitles... What's the button layout? Because I have no idea. Oh man, look at this old school st Oh yeah, I forgot. You could actually set your buttons to what you wanted them to be in this game. Why don't they do that anymore? But anyway. Um, action is A. Light is B. Aim is right trigger. Map is Y. Okay, I guess we'll figure out the rest as we go. But I decided I wanted to do a little bit more on my channel other than Call of Duty, and I know a lot of people out there do Let's Plays of certain video games, so... Main scenario, Letter from Silent Heaven. Sub-scenario, Born from a Wish. Uh, it's been so many... It's been so long since I've done this that I don't remember any of what all this means. Uh, I guess main scenario. Ooh. Action level. Normal, easy, beginner. Well, I have played the game before, so I don't think I need easy or beginner, so normal. And riddle level will go normal, because I am not a genius. <laughs> I may have went to college, but I am not a genius, genius when it comes to puzzles. See, I can't even say genius correctly. And there he is, the man of the hour, James Sunderland. This game is so old. <laughs> Uh, I think my computer just crashed. <laughs> no, nah, it's still working. I, I, the capture module is acting funny. This is the first time I've actually done a uh, recording in a while. I haven't made a YouTube video in about a month. And I know I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 2, but I haven't really been making videos because I've just been doing uh, diamond weapons, and I finally did get every weapon diamond in the game, so there really isn't that much more for me to do. I guess I take control? Alright. Ugh, these, these Resident Evil style cameras. Okay. So right trigger, or no, not right trigger. The left stick makes you walk. The right stick does... Mm, nothing? The right stick does absolutely nothing. <laughs> We're gonna have to fix this here. Oh, maybe I can't. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties, but like I've said, I have not played this in a while. Uh, left stick, D-pad. Right stick is restore. Search around normal. Move and turn is left. Or the D-pad. Maybe I could just use the D-pad. Let's... Oh shit, what did I press? Okay. Don't want to change anything too dramatic, so... <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> Alright, back out of this. I have a photo of Mary when she was still healthy. Examine. This was this guy's wife. Not exactly a looker. Um, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so what am I doing in this? God, I, I wish the right stick did something, you know. But it doesn't. That's going to be a pain in the ass to get used to. So where's the door? How do you get out of here? Oh, I guess that way. Okay. So, off to a good start. Controls are clunky, and I don't remember anything about the game, so this should be interesting. 
but, you know, this was a game that I played quite a bit. I think it's gotta have been like 10, I wanna say like, not, not quite 10 years. Yeah, maybe 10 years. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time, let's just put it that way, so this is definitely not fresh in my mind, and uh, I'm probably going to struggle a little bit with the puzzles that are in this game, I might even just straight up Google them, not quite sure yet. I'm pretty good at Resident Evil puzzles, but these ones were a little bit harder. Um, so yeah, we're doing, we're doing a Let's Play, my first Let's Play ever. I've never done this before, so if it's bad at first, I'm sorry. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said... I don't know if you guys actually want to, like, listen to him talk, but you could just read the subtitles. Basically what the gist is in the story is that this guy's wife died a couple years ago, and he finally got, or, well, not finally, but he, for some reason, got a letter written from his dead wife, and... It came from the town Silent Hill. Mary died of that damn disease. But all just keep in mind while you're watching this that all is not what it seems. Why am I looking for her? That is definitely the case. Special place. What could she mean? And this I don't know if you would call this game compared to what's out now, like Dead Space and you know, other newer games that are on next-gen consoles. I'm not really sure you consider this kind of terrifying anymore, but keep in mind that back in the day, this was this was kind of crazy. I don't know if I want to... Can I skip this? Yeah, I can skip that. Alright. I might do some skipping. Oh, God. Okay, up is move forward. Right and left. Is there a run button? Okay, it's going to be too hard to use the right analog stick, so I'm going to have to use the D-pad. Goddamn PlayStation controllers. I probably could go into a Google search and see if somebody, uh... Is there no... Oh, that's a quick turn. That'll help. Or is that strafe? Yeah, strafe. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, there has to be a run button. I know, I know for a fact there's a sprint button, because we are not walking all over this town. Sorry, I've checked the button configuration so many times. Run, guard, X. Beautiful. Okay, so now we know how to move faster, so let's do that. I'm a running like a James Sunderland in Silent Hill. Man, this game is old. I can't get over how old it is. Uh, I wasn't really too... Oh, well, here, here's the map here. Alright, so I got a map of Silent Hill. Beautiful. So I guess we're not going to take the car. There's nothing else worth taking. The car, maybe? You know, just the thought. So let's check the map. Let's see where we gotta go. Observation deck. And if you also notice... Um, I think the streets are supposed to be all named after authors. But where we gotta go is... Let's see. I think where we end up is Lakeview Hotel. And then Lakeside Amusement Park will be in Silent Hill 3. So I'm going to do a uh, let's play of this game and that game. Hopefully if this all goes well. I'm not sure how long this will take to actually beat. There is an achievement where if you can beat this in under 3 hours that you get uh, some achievement points. The road I came in on. Okay, we're not going back. I wonder if there's any... Can I go back here and see... No, nothing hidden back there. Alright, I guess we're pushing on forward without the car, <clears throat> which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. 
I wonder if there's anything special in here. It's kind of like uh, one of those games, you know, you got to search everywhere. I can't go any further by car. I guess I'll have to walk. All right. Nothing about this truck, I guess, is interesting. So I guess we'll go down here. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Sorry, I had to click something off my computer there. Oh, I don't like when I'm walking and I can't see what's in front of me. It's not cool. Please change the camera angle. You hear that? I might have to play this a little bit turned up because there's a lot of ambient noises that you gotta listen to, like um, uh, creatures and whatnot moving around. Can we please change the camera angle? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. See, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there are things moving around. Are you creeped out yet? <laughs> I know I am. The also nice thing about this game is that there's no... Uh, Sprint recovery, you can run as long as you want. You ought to be in pictures. This is kind of the boring part of the game. There's not a lot of action right here. So we find a well. Anything special in here? A little post-it note. Something in the well. What's that? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. Gives me a weird feeling. Okay, so that's the save, so we're not going to save quite yet. I forgot about that. This old style, you got to find save points to keep going. No auto saves, which I kind of welcome. Kind of sick of auto save features because it's like, you know, you got to get to a certain point in order to save. Ooh, cemetery. This ain't cool. Uh oh. White screen of death. I don't remember if she's buried here. Oh no, okay, this is a flashback. And if you've seen the movies and not played the games, uh, they kind of correlate. Excuse it's, me. I mean, Silent Hill 2, the storyline was kind of, uh, avoided, I guess, or not used. Um, The original Silent Hill movie kind of more focused on Silent Hill 1, sort of, I guess. And then, I haven't seen Revelations yet, but I think it's going to follow the Silent Hill 3 storyline based on the characters, and when we play, when I play Silent Hill 3 and I get it up on YouTube, you'll kind of see the difference. We better stay away, she says. You hear that? It's kind of hard to explain, but is it Yes, it's dangerous. dangerous. Maybe. And it's not just the fog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just I guess I really don't care. See, he got a warning and he don't care if it's dangerous. He's going to town either way. What's it to you, bitch? <laughs> I'm looking for someone. My dead wife. Someone. He didn't have the guts to say my dead wife. I'd do anything if I could be with her. Oh, well, he kind of hinted at it. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I don't remember who this character is that we're talking to. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. You guys have probably all clicked off the video by now because there's no action, but that's not really what the game is about, you know. It's kind of about investigating, being aware of your surroundings, and then every now and then they throw a monster at you. And exploring is a big thing, but it gets intense, like Seriously intense. I don't know if I can read any of these graves or if they're of any importance. I'm, I mean, if you're 
if you've played Silent Hill in the past and you notice I'm missing a lot of stuff, it's just because I haven't played it in so long I don't remember.